Early May, Augusta will see central EMS ambulances serving Richmond County calls. And today, city leaders met to get the ball rolling on what central EMS needs from the city to get the job done. This comes after Gold Cross served the city for more than a decade, but decided to cut ties after city leaders and Gold Cross failed to come to an agreement on a new contract. The city would not agree to a $1.9 million a year subsidy, but central EMS says what Gold Cross was operating with will not be enough. Our city reporter Craig Allison breaks down how Augusta commissioners and central EMS will move forward with this new partnership. What we have to do is to identify what type of ambulance system you want here. What are the needs here? While negotiations have yet to start and there isn't a baseline price, city leaders weighed in on a new deal that central hasn't used in any of their other counties. The biggest factor, a 10% net profit. I'm not really sure if I'm comfortable with Augusta being the guinea pig for the first time they've tried this this approach. Um, you know, they kind of stated that in some of the other communities that they do service in, that there's a flat fee. Unfortunately, a lot of people were not paying Gold Cross. I think that the 10% right there is saying that they want to be, make sure that they are covered as well, that they want to be taken care of. To get a fair price, the city and Central are set on forming a committee to figure out the terms. For example, how many ambulances will be needed for the response times the city wants. Regardless, everyone agrees commissioners should be left out. When you engage politics, it gets a little bit more uh, cumbersome and a little bit more, um, a lot more difficult to get a decision made. That committee should have professionals on it, yes. Fire chief, the EMS director. I also like the idea of engaging some of our healthcare partners throughout the region at Augusta University as well as Doctors Hospital in Piedmont to uh, provide some input as to um, how we could best service our citizens. But in terms of laying out a deal before Central comes in May? Confidently, yes, we, we should know what that subsidy, the requested subsidy amount should be. In Augusta, Craig Allison on your side. The mayor also working to make those committee meetings open to the public so people can sit in on that process.